Okay. Um, as you know, we've been doing our experiment on finding the angular acceleration using Tracker. So I thought I'd give it a go myself and it's brought up a couple of issues that I thought I'd talk through via video so it's easier for you to revisit. Okay, so let's just imagine we've got a set of data here. Now, when you're using Tracker, usually um, it will show you the X and the Y um, uh, coordinates there. And obviously we're interested in the rotational motion. So we're going to look at the angle, theta. Okay, that's the rotational angle, okay, and omega, which is going to be our angular velocity. Now, I won't lie, I'm not particularly excited by this data, it's a little bit messy, um, but it's the kind of thing that might happen to you when you've got your IA. Okay, the reason that my the data is pretty messy is because of the surface that I've used. I used a, a cardboard box, as you can see here on the screen. And what I found is that it kind of bends in between. It's not rigid enough, okay? Now, how do I know that something's gone a bit weird in my data? If I look at my omega values, okay, I'm expecting omega to get faster and faster as we go down the slope. But notice we get to halfway, which is this point shown here, okay? And it actually starts decreasing. And I think that's because my um, uh, board is bent in the middle there. And that basically means my data from this point on is going to be a bit rubbish. Um, I wouldn't be able to find the angular acceleration. Okay, so what would we do in this case? Well, the first thing you want to do is we want to take our data and, um, and analyze it. Now, obviously, to get the angular acceleration, one thing I could do, I'll use the top one here so we can compare, is simply go through um, Tracker. But you can see here, it's pretty messy, okay? It's not um, very easy on the eye of this. So I'm going to show you how we, another way we might do this, because I find that the accelerations in Tracker are not um, too easy to visualize. What we're going to do is we're going to export our data and use Excel in order to analyze it further. All right. So in order to do this, what you need to go up to is file. OK, and then you're going to export and then you're going to whoops, export the data. All right. And this for this, you get to choose. OK, now what I'm doing here, this is my mass A. And then what I want is time against omega because I want to find the angular acceleration. I'm not going to export anything else. OK, and um, here's omega. But if I wanted anything else, I could just click and you notice it's adding what else is in there. OK. Um, I'm going to go for time and omega. I'm going to click OK. Uh, I'm going to set my delimiter as tab, and then I'm just simply going to copy to clipboard. OK, and what we're going to do in a second is paste this into the Excel file, which is behind. Now, I just want you to pay attention to the two sort of timestamps here. There's something weird going on at 0.7. So what I'm going to do in a second is I'm going to disregard 0.7. I don't think 0.7 is a particularly helpful bit of data there. I think that's when my board is bending. OK, there's also some slightly messy stuff here, whether we dis the, um, disregard that, we could talk about it later, but we'll, we'll keep it in there for now. We're just going to minimize our Excel, our, our tracker, sorry, and go into Excel. OK, now that I've copied that, I'm going to press, co press Control V and I'm going to get some data. OK, now the nice thing about Excel, OK, if I simply select my data, OK, and insert, Look at a recommended chart. This is what we're going to look at. This is sim the same as what we had before. Okay, as we said before, um, we're not sure about what's going on in this 0 0.7. And if I was doing my IA, I'd have to justify why I'm going to ignore that part. But again, that's a really good discussion for you to have in your physics essay. So we're going to just get rid of this. Okay, and we're looking for that 0 0.7. I'm just going to say that 0 0.7, I kind of believe things, but af bef anything after that, I don't really believe the data. And again, I would write a little bit of a justification for that. And again, going to make my data look a bit nicer there. OK, it's better, still very wobbly. If I was done this experiment in my IA, I would probably repeat it a few times to make sure that I'm not um, making some mistakes, but we'll go from there. All right. Now, why have we done this? What we want to do is get the angular acceleration. Um, many ways of doing this. But you saw on Tracker, it was difficult to read the values. What we're just going to do is very, very simple. We are going to add a trend line. And specifically, we're going to add a linear trend line. You can add all manner of different trend lines, polynomials, OK, moving averages, OK. But in this case, we're going to go for a linear. We're going to assume that the angular acceleration is constant. And hopefully, you can see that after about 0 0.3 seconds, it does look pretty constant. OK, for now, we'll just assume that the behavior is nice here. 
Why would I do this? Well, this gives me an automatic way of getting my um, angular acceleration. If I click on display equation on chart, we've got omega on the y-axis, time on the x-axis. So anything in front, assuming it's linear, is going to be the angular acceleration. In this case, a very nice number, 199, so essentially 200. Okay, remember when you do this in... Um, in Tracker, it will give you your values in degrees per second, so you could think about how you would turn that into radians per second, that's something for another day. So this is the analysis process you're going to go through. You're going to export your data from Tracker into Excel, and then you are going to use that to produce a linear plot. Like I've done, you might have to trim the edges to say, okay, we're going to only include this bit. Um, hopefully you've used a rigid surface, which means your data looks a lot nicer than mine, and I'm interested to see what your results show. So now it's over to you guys. Good luck.